Hiroki Kikuda, the man with a wide-reaching set of skills. Before making music, Kikuda was first a manga illustrator, which then led to becoming a anime composer. He had no formal music training, opting for the self-taught route where he read music theory books and listened to a bunch of musical genres. Which is goddamn impressive, seeing as he composed my favorite game of all time, Seiken Densetsu 3. I know most of the track titles for the game, so it's safe to say that his music has really affected me, and it's hard not to understand that. So how did Kikuda manage to make two astounding soundtracks? Well, he managed to work with Square and was hired by Nobu Uematsu because they shared a similar interest in progressive rock, something Uematsu picked up on Kikuda's demo disc, stating, That song on your demo reel reminds me of Alan Holdsworth. An amazing guitarist, for those of you who don't know. Out of the 100 applicants, Kikuda managed to get the position. He started by playing through Final Fantasy IV and debugging it. He later went on to designing the sound effects for Romancing Saga. And after that is when his music creativity would be tested. Kenji Ito, the composer for Romancing Saga, was unable to take on the soundtrack for the slated Seiken Densetsu 2 game, Secret of Mana as it's known worldwide. This then fell onto their newbie, Kikuda. He had a knack for rock, orchestral fusions, which can be heard throughout his works and the few lucky games he touched, and the ones that actually survived. There are several music projects that Kikuda was in charge of, but they were either dropped or the games received poor reviews, banishing it to obscurity. Cho Bukyo Taisen and Concerto Gate, two games Kikuda was the composer for, were outright cancelled, whereas Sokaiji was, well, kind of shit. Though I must point out that most reviews praised the music, with one saying that the only reasons I'm still playing Sokaiji are the occasional enjoyable boss encounter and the hope of hearing new music tracks. So while Kikuda's talent is brimming with awesomeness, the rest of it failed to deliver. Out of the games Kikuda worked on, I've played only a few, seeing as most of the games he's worked on have only been released in Japan, with Secret of Mana and Kadelka being the only two receiving a western release where he was the sole composer. As you can see with my amazing visual, I've mainly played the earlier games, as that was my prime time for gaming. As mentioned before, Seiken Densetsu 3 is my all-time favorite, and through some research, I found that Kikuda had help with composing and synthesizing the music. His help came in the form of a boy named Hidenori Suzuki, and with his help and expertise in sound programming, Kikuda was able to compose three times the amount of music for the game than its predecessor, Secret of Mana. This was Hidenori Suzuki's first time programming, and he went on to do work for Bahamut's Lagoon, Final Fantasy Tactics, Super Mario RPG, Xenogears, you get it. He went on to help a lot of awesome games. When I got to Kikuda's Kadelka game, I found its music was pretty weak when compared to his previous titles. what he was capable of, and yet the Kadelka soundtrack was not at all memorable, or it was memorable for the wrong reasons, such as the battle music to remind me of how agonizingly slow it was. Seeing as Kikuda was the concept designer, game planner, scenario writer, producer, and composer for the game, I can see why the music was lacking. He took on way too many jobs for the game, and it unfortunately flopped. Kikuda remains fairly elusive, cropping up now and again to do a soundtrack, I will still forever praise him for the work that he put into Secret of Mana and Seiken Densetsu 3, known as his sleeping bag era, where he would sleep in the office to work on the soundtracks. God, these Japanese composers and their insane work schedule! As per usual, I'll leave you with a few of my absolute favorite songs of all time from this wonderful composer, game designer, manga illustrator, and more. Three tracks will play, starting with Sokaiji and ending with two songs from Seiken and Setsu 3. Thanks for listening!